what my focus is, is trying to teach about objects in motion. So that means that they're always going to be moving. And in particular, because I'm in aeronautics and astronautics, I'm talking about aircraft, but mostly I focus on spacecraft. So they're going to be objects that are moving around the Earth or through space somehow. In order to teach the class, I really have to think about two things. One is to help the students understand how these objects moved in the past, what's happening now, and what they're going to do in the future. And then the second thing is to figure out if they're doing something or going someplace that we don't want them to, how do we change that? Technology has helped a lot recently so that we can do more uh, movies and, and some kind of uh, visual motion of the objects. Uh, but I, and I think that that helps them a lot to understand what's going on. I can give a lot of equations and I can give a lot of static images, but if they don't actually see it move, and that's what they have to imagine, it, it's not usually quite as clear. So that's really what I try to do. I'm, I'm trying to develop more interactive type of tools that can help them understand what's going on. At the same time, I think it's really important for the students to feel that what they're learning is connected to the real world and is connected to what they're going to do in the future as aerospace engineers, which is what the students in my class are. So they also need to be connected to the fact that these objects that they're looking at are not just objects and blobs and stuff like that. They may actually be spacecraft. So I try to also bring in a lot of real things that are happening in the aerospace community. So if I can also not only help them understand, but I think in the long term it also helps them to be better uh, communicators and collaborators in the future, which is something that they're going to have to do in their, in, in their work as well. Sometimes I could stand up there for an hour and I could explain things with static images, whereas if I just so show something that move, that's moving in an instant, they can understand what's going on and they hopefully can connect it to something that they're interested in. And we're continuing to explore more ways that we can actually integrate these kinds of tools into the uh, learning process. So it's not just a matter of a demonstration, but it's actually how you incorporate that into what they, they can see and, and learn and, and discuss as they move forward into their careers. For me, I think I feel like I accomplished my objective. If I can see in the students within the class that they truly understand a difficult idea and that they have gained enough confidence to think that they can actually do something with that in the future.